Um, look at it. Oh, oh, that was a big hit. I think the electrics went out on that one. Yeah. Hey! Alrighty, hello guys. Welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are actually checking out the USS Fletcher DD. 445 with a full interior now this thing is amazing it looks really really good um there are a few problems with it and the the main problem is that it is very very laggy but that's because it's got a full interior um so there you go anyway uh we're gonna literally jump into this real quick we're gonna try and get it moving so that we can have a few more frames because uh, apparently as soon as you get away from the creative island it gets a little bit better um, and then we'll have a little look around. Hopefully we can find every room. Uh, I doubt it, but we'll try. Uh, and then I guess we'll see what happens from there. Anyway, let's get on with it. See you. See you there. Okay, so I should actually mention this was built by Bumpy and it took him slash her. I don't know whether it's a man or a woman. Uh, it took them. Yeah, there we go. That works. Um, 325 hours over two months to actually build this thing, which is incredible if you think about it because... In that time, I would imagine a few updates actually happened, and um, yeah, that might have changed things a little bit. I'm not sure. It might have been some reworking done. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna. Why is that on a on a hinge? Why is this on a hinge? I don't know. Uh, that's a bit weird. Anyway, uh, we're gonna try and find where we actually drive this from. I'm pretty sure it's here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get inside. And oh no, do I have to go to an engine room? What is this? Oh, we could change the guns. Oh, that's quite cool. Um, can we can we actually start it from here, please? Yeah, we can. All right, lucky. We're very lucky. Anyway, uh, 0.75 is optimal, so we'll do that. There we go. Start. All right, off we go. Oh wait, no, that's wrong. The clutch is somewhere over here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. 0.75 is optimal. Okay, right, good. Go ahead and set this to full. Nice, and we are. Um, oh my jeez! Look, why is the front so far out? Up, oh, look at it! Wow! All right, well, we are moving out into the ocean. We're gonna go actually left of that island in front of us. Uh, let's check if its turning circle is decent enough. I think it will be. Uh, our speed is 27. I don't know what that's in. I have no idea what that's in. I'm gonna assume not. I'm gonna assume not. I don't really know. Uh, but with all the detail on this thing, I'm assuming he's gone ahead and done that. I'm not sure. Um, do we have depth charges? Is that what those are? Dude, I think we've got... We do. We've got depth charges. That's really interesting. Okay, we're going to have to use those. Um, but yeah, first, I want to try and aim to the left of that island. And we are doing it, just very slowly. I like the lean. The lean is actually epic. That's awesome. Okay, we're pretty much there, so uh, we are... Well, actually, I don't want to get out of the seat until we've past this point, uh, just in case it actually, like, smacks into the island. We don't want that to happen. We want to actually test out, or we want to have a little look around uh, and see how many things we can find. There's going to be lots of rooms. So, um, if you guys don't want to see all the rooms on the inside and you just want to see it against some waves, I guess skip ahead in the video, but, um, we're going to try our best to see all the rooms. Anyway, back here we've got nav lights, bridge lights, deck lights, AA guns power, torpedo power, and main guns. We've also got locked doors if we need it. Um, I want to see the guns turning. I really do. So, let's do that first. Uh, how do we do this? What is this? Forward facing guns? Here we go. Oh, look at them. Look at them turn. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks so good. Look at them go. Yeah, wait, can we make them right raise too? Here we go. Yeah, we'll have them point forwards. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, dude, they look amazing. They look really good, actually. Let's do the back ones as well. So we'll raise them up and we'll turn them. There we go. We can actually do it from the seat. Oh, they're going to point the other way. That's not what I wanted. This way, please. Thank you. All right, good. Look at that. They can be pointed up too. Oh, that is awesome. They look really good. They really do. Nice. I wonder if we can get inside them somehow. I doubt it, but um, wait, let's have a little look. Now we can't. We can't get inside of them. Um, but we've pointed them all in the same direction, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, back here we've got a map, which we can zoom in and out of, which is, um, yep, that's quite cool. If we go backwards, we've got a door. What is this area? What does this do? 
Oh, this is a radar station. Okay, it's got a radar station. Sure. Switch range. We can actually change the range to be a lot further. Or... Okay, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, if we go back here, we've got a bed. And that's it. Alright, okay. So we've got a bed back here in the bridge. We've got the radar station in the bridge. And we've got all the breakers in the bridge. Alright, go ahead and close that up. Let's go up to begin with. Okay, so up here we've actually got spotlight controllers, so we can actually aim the spotlights around if we want to. Uh, that's pretty awesome. We got some guns with cameras on. Yeah, we do. Alright, cool. Wait, no, that is not a gun. That is not a gun. Okay, interesting. If we go down there, that is also not a gun? Question mark? They must be guns. Or maybe they're just binoculars. I don't know. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. We could climb up here. There's no way. Oh, I fell off. Oh, God. Okay, right, I'm good. We can actually climb all the way up to the top. I want to try that. Yes, look at this. This is awesome. Right, okay, up we go. Nice. We're going to have to, like, keep going forwards. Jump onto these ones. Nice. And now we're at the top of the tower. Look at that. Oh, 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 no, don't fall. Okay, right. So if you do get to the top, you do get pushed off. Interesting. So there's no actual, like, you can't get to the top. Right, jump off. Here we go. Go down. Oh my. Okay, it's a bit bouncy because we're a bit laggy, but that's okay. We got lifeboats right here, which are controlled right there, as you guys can see. Um, what is in the superstructure at the front? I don't know. Oh, we got AA guns right here, or the smaller caliber guns. We can actually raise those and we can turn them around too. Beautiful. Uh, this is the turret. It's got like a, a handle on it. It's got some paintable signs on the front. They actually look really nice. They really do. And you can climb up onto the top of them too. We've got nav lights too, look at those. Interesting. Whoa, where does this go? We're going inside. Here we go. We got a lights. We got a table. I'm not sure what this area would be used for. What is this? I don't know what these are, but we've got some sort of weird little radio station thing going on here. If we go backwards, what is this? I don't know what these are, but if you guys can let me know. They they actually seem like a well, it seems like a radio room. It really does. It looks like a radio room. Anyway, I don't really know what these are, though. Ah, okay. I guess they're just big radios. Anyway, that's it for inside of here. I don't think we can go anywhere else. So let's go back out the front and then go into the back. All right, so I'm pretty sure these are for the torpedoes. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure they are. So these will, like, aim off to the side and you can fire them. Uh, all that side, obviously. Uh, if we go back here, we've got more searchlights. I think. Yeah, these are more searchlights right here. That's pretty awesome. They're controllable too. If we go backwards, I'm assuming more torpedoes? I, I don't know. Is that what these things are supposed to be? I have no idea. Um, but the most important thing to me that I actually wanted to try was the depth charges. I don't know why, but I did. So let's do it. Here we go. Run all the way to the back. Yes, sirree. And then I guess we just push the button. Release charges. Yes. All right. One's off. Two's off. Oh, don't they look... That is good. I like that system. We've dropped all the depth charges off. Just imagine them exploding down there. That'd be awesome. And yeah, we've got another row of them here, but I'm not actually going to launch them. We'll leave them there like that. Uh, we've got more small caliber guns or smaller caliber guns. Maybe AA guns right there. That's pretty cool. What is this? I, I don't know what that does. It doesn't appear to do anything. Uh, but let's go downstairs. We might have an engine room. Okay. Okay, we got our beds. There's lots of beds back here. And then, like, the ammunition for the gun, which is above us. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Okay. If we go this way, it's just a corridor. Okay, we got more beds. There are beds everywhere in this thing. Okay, if we keep going forwards down the really narrow corridors. What have we got? What's this? We got a staircase. All right, where does this take us? Oh, boy. Oh, here's the engine room, I think. Yeah, this must be the engine room. Okay, right, go downstairs. Let's have a little look at these. Okay, they're big. They're big. There's a prop shaft. Okay, good. Maybe that's not the prop shaft. <laughs> I don't know. They look awesome. How do I turn the lights on in here, though? There's a button over there. Yeah, I see a button. The roof is that that, like, it's only just tall enough for us to actually, like, stand under. Um, which is kind of weird, but there you go. What's this? Hold on. Hold on. we got to push these. Circuit breakers. They don't appear to do anything, but we're going to turn them all on. Here we go. 
Circuit breakers are all on. Interesting. Let's see what this does. I think it must be lights. Yeah. Alright, so that lights up this entire room. Nice. Oh, that is epic. Alright, so we go back out into the corridor. We're gonna keep going along. I don't see a way of getting in. I don't know what's in the middle. Uh, stuff. What is this? Oh, it's like a boiler. Oh, I see. Yeah, these are like boilers. That's where the engines are hiding. Interesting. So you can actually open those. Alright, okay. It's probably actually easier to look around inside the ship using the camera mode rather than actually going in there. Uh, but essentially, we'd just be able to turn on the lights in there. So I guess it's alright the way it is. Anyway, uh, in the next room, there is more of these, which we've already seen. If we keep going... There is another boiler room thingamabobby. Uh, and then we've got maps. Okay. I want to get to this area. Where is it? Is that me? Oh, that's me. We're almost there. Okay, we got a lot more beds in here. This is beds everywhere. Uh, you can actually go downstairs here. And I'm assuming more beds. I'm assuming more beds. There is not more beds. It's actually the, uh, the munitions. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Just a bunch of storage. Right, that makes sense. That does make sense. All right, let's go back upstairs again. Oh, and we do actually have lights down here as well, just in case anyone was wondering. Anyway, go back upstairs. Yes, back into the bedroom. <laughs> the bedroom. Okay, the dorms. I guess you would call them dorms. I don't know. Uh, we got more beds in here. Wait, where was that room? Oh, here it is. Oh, no, this is the, the other munitions underneath the gun. Yeah, this is the front gun. Interesting. Okay, right. So, I don't know where I was. There was... Them tables with maps on. I'm not sure where they were. That's weird. Because we seen me, but like, we can't have. I'm so confused. Anyway, there's loads of loads of beds in the front, loads of beds in the back. If we go up here, we'll be on the deck at the front. I think. Will it be the front? No, this is the back. Oh, I've just ran backwards. That's why. That's why we didn't find the tables. Sorry, I got lost on the interior. That's my bad. Uh, but there's the tables right there. We can actually see them. So they're at the front of the ship. The other thing was at the back of the ship. We've got the boiler rooms and the engine rooms on the left. And on the right, if you go to the right side of the ship. Um, and in here we've got maps. Okay, loads of maps. we got the lights for the hallway. We've probably got the lights for this room. Yes, we do. And if we go forwards, what do we find? What is this? Like showers, I guess? Yeah, they look like showers. Okay. If we go even further forwards, we can go down there. I don't know, that's kind of spooky. Let's just have a little look with the camera. Okay, we got the med bay. We've got more storage. we got more bed beds. And then we got more bunks. All right, okay. So that is pretty much everything. we got the storage in the front. And then we got nothing in the front front. Good. So, I think that is pretty much the entire interior. Let's get back up to the bridge and uh, try it out against the waves and things. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit lost. I think I'm supposed to go this way, although I'm not entirely sure. Where are we now? I've not been in here. This looks like the mail room. Yeah, this this looks like, like a mail sorting room. I could be completely wrong with everything I've said in this video, but I'm trying my best. All right, okay, what's in here? Oh, we're going, we're going towards the front. Okay, and then this is the front front, and there's nothing there. Interesting. Yeah, so he's actually got lights in every room, which is it's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, we need to just get up to the surface. That's all I want to do. I want to get up to the main deck. The poop deck. We're pooping on, pretty sure. But anyway, uh, to, uh, in order to actually get to the deck... Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was looking for, for a place to actually get up. Uh, and this appears to be it. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have to run all the way to the back, and I don't want to do that. Um, but there we go. We're on the main deck. That's awesome. Go ahead and close that door. And we need to get up into the bridge. You know, there is one thing that's kind of interesting me, and I, I don't know what it is. What's that? What is that? I mean, it's got a button on it. It's a bell. I don't think it does anything. It doesn't appear to be making any noises. Uh, but anyway, let's get back in the bridge. Yes. And uh, we'll make the weather bad, and we'll see what happens from there. All right, we got wind, we got rain, we've got fog. It is all hitting us in the side. Okay, we're going to start turning left here in the big waves. So we might tip over. It is a good test for it. Uh, do we have heaters? I don't think I've seen a heater. And we are freezing. So, um, yeah, that is a bit of an issue, actually.
Alright, so yeah, um, the time of day is actually changing. It is now pretty much night time. Uh, and it actually deals with the waves completely fine, which is epic. That is, that is a really good thing. Because uh, sometimes people put a lot of detail into these creations, and they don't usually work all that well. But um, this one does. This one is working very, very nicely. So, I guess there is only one more test to actually do, and that is the tsunami test. Let's see if it survives a tsunami. I guess there is also the Megalodon test. I don't know, I don't know what it'll do against Megalodons, but we have spawned some in. So, um, I guess we'll see what happens. There's a bunch on that side. There doesn't appear to be any on the left or behind us. Uh, and we do appear to be, like, motoring towards an island. That doesn't seem like the best place to be going, but the tsunami is right in front of us. We are heading right towards it, and I think it's going to be fine. I think this whole ship is going to be fine. Um, the lifeboats might destroy it, though. They are going to go a bit mental, so, um, yeah. They might, they might destroy something. I don't know. Alright, I decided to actually change the time as well, just so you guys can see. Um, but essentially, there's a megalodon right there. It literally swam straight underneath the ship, which is kind of creepy. Very, very creepy. And if we could actually fire these guns... Dude, imagine firing the guns at the... Uh, wait, can we? What is he made them of? What are they made of? I don't know what that piece is. I'm not sure what he's made these cannons of. Uh, but they look awesome. They do. And that Meg is chasing us. But that's fine, because I think we're faster. Which is epic. That's a good thing. But uh, yeah, imagine being able to just like turn the cannons towards a Megalodon. And then just blast it. Like, just, just absolutely blast the Megalodon out of the water. That would be insane. In fact, that would be very, very cool. I don't know whether we'll ever get to that point, though, but um, that would be cool to see. Anyway, the wall of water is a lot taller than the ship, as you guys can see. The Megalodon is chasing us, as you guys can also see. And, um, yeah, so I'm curious. Is it going to be buoyant enough to actually float up it without the water going on the deck? It actually appears to be buoyant enough. That's crazy. Usually the long ships like this have massive issues with the water, but, um, yeah, oh, it is, it is having issues with the water, but now we're at the top, we're coming over the other side, and we should land it completely, f look at the hull, it's got, like, rust spots on it and everything, but now we've came over the top, whoa, those things are, are flying, whoa, dude, those things are definitely flying, all right, they've, they've settled back down, that's lucky, but we're good. This thing actually survived the tsunami completely fine. That's awesome. Alright, so I guess now that we've actually tried out everything and seen everything, uh, I think it's time to actually try out the lifeboats. I'm going to get in one because I don't think the Megs like them. So we'll just jump in a lifeboat and we should be safe. Here we go. Jumping in. Yes. Alright, how do we disconnect it? How do we even use this? Alright, all the way out. Okay, it might just disconnect itself. I'm not sure. But we're going to sit in a padded seat, and we're going to hope for the best here. Here we go. Presumably when it's all the way out, it's automatic from there, but I, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Well, we appear to be just dangling. Uh, to me, this seems not safe, and I don't know... What is it doing? It's actually raising, I think. I think it's actually pulling me up rather than dropping me down. Interesting. Right, well, we could just do this. Hold on. This is going to make me almost die. But essentially, we're going to do this. And then sit in a seat. Okay. Yep, we're good. <laughs> we're completely fine. Don't worry about us. Alright, get out the seat quickly. Do that one. And sit in the seat again. Sit in the seat. Alright, yes. Yes, that's how you deploy the lifeboats. Okay, the big ship just got hit by a megalodon. It really did. Okay. Um, well, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. It didn't sink. It, it didn't actually sink. So that's a good thing, I think. Um, that's a pretty good thing. Uh, and the Megalodons uh, are attacking it, but I don't think they'll sink it either. The tsunami didn't sink it. The big waves didn't sink it. It's unsinkable. Kind of like the Titanic. Um, look at it. Oh, oh, that was a big hit. I think the electrics went out on that one. Yeah. Yeah interesting well anyway uh i'm gonna end this video here thank you guys very 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 much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye